Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm your bro, Ryan. And I'm your bro, Taylor. And in today's video, we're talking a little bit about our journey, how we got started investing, and how you guys can follow in very similar footsteps to get your investing career started. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again. So most adults do get into the investing game at some point or another, whether that be through their retirement account, a personal brokerage account or real estate but a lot of people are investing too late or not at all so today we're going to be giving you like ryan said an example of how we've started at an early age and how we plan on setting ourselves up for the future now all that to be said this isn't financial advice we're not saying you need to follow these exact steps and then you'll be successful to be frank we don't know if this will set us up for the future this is just what research we've done what we have personally experienced and what we see to be working for us so if you can get any inspiration from it, by all means, but by no means are we saying you need to do this, this, and that. So one assumption we're going to make before getting into all of this is you have your emergency fund set aside. So we don't consider it an emergency fund investing, but we do consider an emergency fund absolutely necessary. That is your safety net. Yeah. That is your living a stress-free life. You have three to six months of your expenses set aside in a savings account preferably a high yield savings account, but don't even get that stressed about it. As yeah. long as you have that emergency fund, then we're happy. We can move on to the first one. Yeah. You can have cash under the mattress, which we're not saying is the best way to do it, <laughs> yeah. but as long as you've got those funds. It's a good idea to start investing in your retirement as soon as you can. I know a lot of people, especially when they're younger, they get that job, they get that first big paycheck. Mm -hmm. The last thing you're thinking is, let me store it all away and invest over 50 years later. Like, Nobody's usually thinking about that, but it's a good idea to start thinking about that. A lot of times when you start that new big, nice job and get that big paycheck, you're, that same company is going to be offering retirement accounts, typically a 401k. And so that's going to be the most common type of account that the everyday person is going to see. Your employer is going to offer it, and typically they're going to offer a match as well. So that's pretty much free money. They're saying, if you put this much in, I'll give you this much on top of that. So it's like another little paycheck towards your future. Yeah. And we have a whole video on all the different types of retirement accounts because there are variations that you should be aware of, like Roth versus traditional, 401k versus IRA. But whatever way you discover that works best for you, and like we said, you can go check out that video. Uh, that's, yeah, <laughs> you should kind of start as soon as you can because the power of compounding interest, which is something we've talked about, won't get too far into it, but basically your money moves like this instead of like this. And the sooner you start, the quicker it reaches right here. So right now, however young you are, however old you are, you should start investing into retirement. All right, so this is where I may you know, lose some people like, ah, I don't necessarily agree with that, but this is just me personally and how I'm kind of going about it is my next big investment that I've been looking forward to or doing myself is investing in real estate. Uh, we've both bought real estate before. If you've followed along with the channel, you're aware of that. Uh, but I think it's a great opportunity to build generational wealth. I think real estate is a great way to make money. It's a tried and true way of making money. A lot of millionaires own real estate. So I just think that's a great avenue. I know that's a massive jump, yeah. uh, you know, because real estate, I'll be honest, is a daunting task. There is a million ways to make money in real estate and you can start as low as like buying a REIT. But uh, for what we're trying to do and what I'm trying to do personally is things like rental properties and owning actual properties. Now, I know that, you know, interest rates are crazy. Uh, the down payment alone is a crazy task and a crazy thing to overcome. But that's just where we've decided to put a lot of time and interest. Yeah. And just like Taylor said, that that's our path so far. That's our focus. And that might not be your next step. That might not ever be a step of yours. That's yeah. completely fine. This is our beginning and just showing you how we're progressing to see if maybe, like Taylor said, you get that inspiration and you like that idea or you like step one, three, and four, but you don't like two. You don't like real estate. You never want to deal with tenants. Yeah. Maybe that's the case. That's fine. Um, but so far, this is the path we're at. And real estate is a, is a tried and true. Uh, many years ago, people were making money on real estate. All the way until many years from now, they'll probably be making a lot of money on real estate. So we're we hoping. like that. Yeah, <laughs> we like that that history, and we're gonna keep going with it for now. And then three, you're looking at opening your own personal brokerage account. So that's gonna be the next step, your third or the third step we've really taken. And that's where we're gonna start putting 
I don't want to say play money by any means, but extra money after the first two. Yeah. And you're going to, whatever you have, whether it's $5 outside of that, $100, $1,000, we're putting it towards our brokerage account to try and grow it, buying ETFs, buying uh, mutual funds. And if those words sound scary and confusing, we have many other videos talking about this. Those are basically going to make your life a little bit less stressful. You don't have to worry about how Apple does. They take the guesswork out of it. So that, that might be super gray to you, but that's the next step we've taken. If that is confusing, please let us know in the comments. We'd love to make another video about it. Uh, if we see the interest, if enough people have the question, we'd love to get back into that topic because it is very interesting talking about ETFs versus single stocks and all stuff like that. So you may be thinking this is something that you would get into before real estate. And like we said, whatever your journey is, it doesn't have to look anything like ours. Uh, maybe it looks similar to ours. It, you know, everyone chooses different things. Uh, but this is actually one of the first accounts we technically did. So chronologically speaking, I guess you would say this was our number one, but we both were way more serious and started throwing out big money into retirement and real estate. Uh, I personally took a step back from my personal brokerage. Like when I first started getting into investing, you know, I bought a few individual stocks like, mm -hmm. oh, I bought one stock of Apple for, you know, $150 or whatever it may be. And but then later on down the line, I got real into my Roth IRA, real into my 401k, real into investing in real estate and everything. So then I'm coming back to this at this point. And if I were to start all over, I would probably start with the way with it we've listed it out in this video. So just be aware of that. Uh, you can do whatever you want. And like Ryan was saying, ETFs, mutual funds, great start, diversifies for you. Like I was just saying, you can get into individual stock. You got to do a little bit more research, probably takes a little more grunt work, but that is a way to go. And then beyond that, like Ryan also kind of referenced of not necessarily throwing money away, but being very comfortable with the possibility of losing it uh, is investing in things like NFTs and crypto. Now, like we said, this is our journey. So we have invested in every single thing we've said here. And you may be thinking, oh, you guys invested in NFTs. You've lost all credibility <laughs> immediately. Uh, we're not one of those people that went all in on NFTs, but it was a very cool concept yeah. in it. Uh, you know, we threw one at, you know, one or two NFT projects. And of course, most of you are probably aware of how that went. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it was just something that we did experience. And, you know, if it's something where you have some extra money that you just kind of want to do some high risk, high reward stuff, it is stuff that you're comfortable with losing. It is an option. Yeah. And, and it's the reason it is like that is because it is high risk. Yeah. Um, the odds of you getting most of those to make you a lot of money or any money at all aren't extremely high. But if you do get one, oh, it, you're doing really Ooh. well. So it's high risk, high reward. Plan to lose the money and hope you don't. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. There you um, go. But a lot of the others that we did mention uh, are very tried and true. Historically, you could speak on it with much, much, a lot of data to it to show that these have increased over time. And people have invested in them and made money over time constantly. So that's why we like those first, obviously, to yeah. put more attention and focus. We want to have something that grows a foundation. And then we want to build something a little bit bigger, a little bit better, a little bit more, add, keep adding to that. And then we'll do some small risky things here and there, like the NFTs and the crypto. Yeah. But trust me, that is an extremely small portion yeah, yeah, of the yeah. portfolio. Yeah, I, I even looked at an NFT and I don't know yeah. how long so at this point. So that is not something we focus on too much. So there are other options to invest in things like precious metals and commodities, uh, government bonds, all these things. Now that's not something that we personally have gone right. into, so that's not something we discussed in this video. But if you want to know more about that, we'd be more than happy to do the research. Maybe we'll discover that, hey, maybe this is an option that we actually will go through, but just wanted to kind of put that out there. Yeah, and of course, if you, for whatever reason, absolutely love investing in bonds, let us know why. Yeah, Again, yeah. This is a community we wanna we want learn as well. Please let us know if you got value out of any of this, um, at any of these steps. We, if you want us to go into more detail about any of these, this was just meant to be a very easy, breezy, you can listen to it and go, oh, one, two, three, four. That's interesting. I yeah. didn't think about real estate. I didn't think about crypto, anything like that. Hey. I didn't know they did crypto, something like that. You got a number five, let us know. We're like, oh, no, this should be number one. We'd love to hear your opinion. And Absolutely. maybe it's something we ne haven't necessarily considered. So we like to learn from you guys just as much as we're help hopefully helping you learn something. So thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you gained something from it. Uh, we always enjoy interacting with you guys and we'll see you in the next one. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again.